interested and I don't want to be interested. I just want to get to the writing level as fast as possible and without any problems. If there is a problem with my technical device, I break them, I smash them. I don't have any... Uh, uh, patience. No, no patience. I just... Uh, I need it to work instantly and if it fucks up, it's, it's a good chance I might break it. Regardless of what it costs. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm sorry to say, it's not a good, good thing. But uh, yeah, so this is where uh, the magic comes. Everything from uh, you know, try to cover as much much ground as possible with the, the music. It's a lot of major chords on this album for some reason. Um, I think they sound evil. It's uh, you know, when I hear that, I'm not thinking just regular. You know, it's the, an they put it in context like. It's all major chords, but it doesn't sound. Like a, it sounds more evil than. Probably I think it's more a, um, like an Ar Arabic. Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of. exactly. When I get up, a song on the album which is uh, just an acoustic guitar on. Um, pretty simple. I think I was uh, didn't really know where to use it, but uh, it came to good use actually. The only kind of secure spot for that type of song was first on the album, I think. And most metal bands, including ourselves, most when you put out a new record, you're like, yeah, straighten your, your fist in your face with the first song, you know. It sounds long, it's like a Zeppelin, a mid -per period Zeppelin riff in a way. And then it turns into a Nick Drakeish kind of thing. Very simple. She's, uh, uh, Martin Axe, our drummer's girlfriend, they've been together for five years or something like that. And um, she's a singer, I knew she could sing well, but I didn't, I didn't really know just how good she was until I had like a crayfish party, I think it was, or maybe New Year's, I can remember. I had a party at, at, at our house and uh, they brought a tape of a, like a project they have together, Martin and his oh, sorry, sorry. Natalie is her name. And uh, I heard this song and I was like, wow, she's just got a beautiful voice. Very basic in many ways. Pick and strings, yeah. and chop your fingers. <laughs> Fucked it up. Right. I was happy with that mic, it was calm. Right. The 
end of this uh, ballad song that we wrote uh, has uh, just a long going riff and Frederick can play it so well. The riff is simple, I just show it. It's just. It's perfect for soloing, so. Uh, yeah, it's you just basically have to hit one note and then you're okay, I think. Yeah, but it has to be the right note. That's not the easiest thing. My solos, you know. Otherwise, something like that. But it plays shitty a little bit. I can try play mine one more time because I. Fucked it up again. forward to a tour, uh, <laughs> a tour uh, with the new songs, of course, that's uh, it's going to be very different for me. For me right now, just learning all these songs and rehearsing with the band, basically. It's definitely a little bit different than Ghost Reveries, but it's supposed to be that because it's not fun to do the same. Very few bands that can make the same albums over and over again. I'm old, <laughs> I don't know, I start getting bored, whatever, but no reason, just woke, woke up someday and was like, oh, I just want to change something, shave my hair, why not? I'm hoping it's gonna continue the same interest that's shown, shown for us in the past that's gonna be maintained with this new album that uh, we're still going to be able to have a good time even though it's basically a new band. Ah, I guess I need an acoustic. I can blame it on the sound. Please. 